Hi, my name is Matt Santoro. You might know me from overdoing the list genre for 10 years. Also the bald facts guy with teeth. So as many of you know, I stopped making list videos. What? <laughs> it's gonna be all right, relax. I'm trying new things. I wanna stretch my creativity. And I felt like you guys needed a whole new introduction to who I am because you know what? It's been a long time since I just got to create for the sake of creating and didn't have to put it into a list. But I thought I would do something different. Instead of me reintroducing myself to you, I thought that I would let Google. Cause that'll go fine. In case you've never Googled yourself, um, it's not exactly accurate. <laughs> Not at all. In fact, I was inspired to make this video because somebody on Twitter earlier today said, wow, I saw that you're worth $3 million on Google. What? In case you aren't aware, I'm not worth $3 million. So that sent me down a bit of a rabbit hole of, hey, what does Google have to say about me? And so I went searching and this is what I found. Look at this as a whole new introduction to Matt Santoro based on what the internet purely says about me. Okay, strap in for this one. So first we're going to search Matthew Santoro Worth because I feel like that's gonna bring up some interesting sources. Sources. There it is, $3 million, the very first thing that pops up. If anyone is able to find my $3 million and give it back to me, that'd be super because I've never seen that much money in my whole life. All right, let's go to the first link, Nibuzz. Dot com. Okay, sounds reputable. Matthew Santoro, net worth three million. All right, let's see how they got to this conclusion because I am dying to know. Matthew Santoro is a Canadian YouTube personality born in Welland, Ontario. That is true. He has an estimated net worth of three million dollars. Before YouTube, he was an accountant, but quit his job. Nope, I was laid off, big difference. Once he was making enough income on YouTube to support himself, also not true. I was broke for an entire year, unemployed, basically unable to pay bills, trying to make YouTube happen. Apart from his main self-titled YouTube channel, Santoro has two other channels by the names Matthew Santoro Vlogs and his gaming channel, where he posts gaming videos. No, I don't. I haven't had a gaming channel in like three years, so again, <laughs> out of date. And this is what Google is pulling from. <laughs> oh boy. These two channels are still not as big yet like his main channel. His main channel is where he posts a fun facts video twice a week. That's a nice photo. Look at this. Look at the thickness of that thick boy beard. Look at that thick boy. That's that's three C's. Woo -wee. Okay, here is where we're gonna break down the hard numbers, everybody. This is how we're gonna figure out how Matt Santoro has $3 million. Matthew Santoro has 6.5 million subscribers as of 2020. Wait a minute. This, this is up to date. How did they get so much stuff wrong if this is up to date for 2020? Wow, they did no research for this. Okay, let's continue. He has accumulated over 1.4 billion views since the time that it was started. In a day, the videos in the channel, should be on the channel, cumulatively get an average of 200,000 views. I'm not even sure if that's accurate. I haven't checked my stats in a long time, but sure, let's just give him the benefit of the doubt. The estimated revenue that can be generated from this channel should be around $1,000 a day or $365,000 a year from YouTube ads. Let's break that down. First off, this person has no idea what they're talking about. What he's talking about is called a CPM. That's cost per thousand views to the advertiser. This is some nerdy stuff now, but we're gonna talk about it. That CPM wildly ranges from 50 cents, a dollar to $10. It depends on the type of channel. It depends if the video is monetized. It depends on the creator, whether or not you're blacklisted, which YouTube says doesn't happen, but we all know it does. And many, many other factors. There's no way that this person could assume that I make $1,000 a day. If I made $1,000 a day, I'd probably be living somewhere very, very warm, probably surrounded by sand maybe with monkeys delivering me drinks. There's also a program known as Google Preferred where deep pocketed companies can target ads on the top 5% of popular content. The ad rates here are higher than normal. Okay, so I think this person is assuming I'm part of Google Preferred. I used to be part of Google Preferred. However, I'm 90% sure I'm not anymore. I think I'm pretty sure they forget about me. I'm, I'm about 90% sure. I'm not invited to the Creator Summit. YouTube just, just like, yeah. Yeah, thanks for help building the platform. We don't know who you are anymore. Santoro gets extra income from book sales from his new book. Uh, when was this written? 
January 13th, 2020. Are you kidding me? They have gotten so much wrong. My new book, I released my book in 2015. Moving on uh, possibly to another website, hopefully more reputable maybe. Maybe somebody that's actually done a little bit of research. Stats Smash. Stats Mash. Oh, this is a very basic website. This is like a discount social blade. Matthew Santoro net worth. Oh, this says my net worth is $586,000. Why are all these websites obsessed with the money that influencers slash creators make? I don't understand it. Today so far, oh, they got it broken down by today. They know exactly how much money I've made by the hour, every hour to calculate for today's earnings. Today, apparently, I made $223. Bowling! Celebtrendsnow.com. Ooh, ooh, this, this one looks reputable. Matthew Santoro, estimated net worth bio biology. Part lizard. Biography. Matthew Santoro was born in St. Catharines, Canada. Wrong. I was born in Cambridge. He was born July 16th, 1985. You got that right, sir. Here we go. Net worth. Yeah, rich boy. Talking about the money. Matthew Santoro, estimated worth, salary, income, cars, lifestyle. Many more details. Wow. How rich is Matthew Santoro in 2019 and 2020? If you've ever wanted to know, this is the source. Based on various online resources. <laughs> YouTube star Matthew Santoro's net worth is $72 million. Wrong. Height unknown. It is not unknown. I have said many times I'm 5'6". Weight not available right. What do you mean not available right? Right now? Weight not available Right Matthew Santoro keeps his personal and love life private. Check back often as we will continue to update this page with new relationship details. Trust me, you don't need to do that. This is not exactly the most reputable website. Okay, well, you know, that one's a little, that one was a little bit more accurate. I gotta give it to them. That was a little bit better. But they had that one glaring issue of the $74 million. <laughs> Where'd you get that from, buddy? Realtimenews.info. This doesn't even exist anymore. Yeah, let that be a lesson to the rest of you fact websites, okay? You better get your information right or else you're gonna be taken out. Just saying. Wouldn't want something bad to happen to you. That's not a threat. I'm just saying anything would happen. Your website could be taken down. Hey, Johnny's gonna take care of it. That's all I'm gonna say. You want protection? Huh? Okay, we're on to page two now. This is a real deep dive. Oh, uh, that was at the Star Wars premiere in Toronto. Okay, so according to this published date, September 29th, 2019. So this should be a quite up-to-date article. Birthplace, Ontario, Canada. Birth sign, cancer. Ethnicity, American. You, you just said I was born in Canada. And also American is not an ethnicity. Eye color, green. It's hazel, yibish. Nationality, Canadian. You said it a second time in the same article. How do you get that wrong? Net worth, two million. There's a big discrepancy there, pal. The last one said 74 million. This one says two million. <laughs> Somebody owes me something. Matthew is actually of an Italian descent from his father. Yes, my dad is from Italy and my mom is French Canadian. So my background is Italian. Bing. Point for you. A fan of Drake and, <laughs> and hip hop culture. Santoro currently resides in Los Angeles, US. USA. My current favorite genre, for those wondering, is actually soca music. If you haven't listened to soca, it is the sound of happiness. Family, not much is revealed yet about Matthew Santoro's parents since he seems to be very secretive about this. <sighs> I've never told you guys this, but I feel like now's a good time. My dad is a Sith Lord, and my mother was a Jedi. To this day, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm more Jedi or Sith. An identity crisis. Matthew Santoro dating girlfriend. Ooh, oh, here we go. Talking about Matthew Santoro dating affair, he is currently in a relationship with a woman named Sabrina Nisa. Incorrect. That was like three years ago now. A picture of my crazy ex before her. That's all we're gonna talk about for today. I think you guys, I think you got a good feel about who I am based on what Google says. That's me. $72 million. <laughs> Hit me up. But that just goes to show you, you cannot believe everything you see on the internet. The number of websites that claim to have information on influencers or creators or celebrities is limitless. At the end of the day, you gotta go straight to the source if you want the answers, folks. I thought this would be a fun video to make for you guys. I'm trying to do new and different and experimental things on this channel and really spread my wings 
and be as creative as I can and just have fun creating. During this time of transition where I'm trying new things, I just wanna say I'm very grateful for you guys sticking around and giving this a chance. Giving the new content that's coming a chance, the short film, the 10 year anniversary video, this. So if you did enjoy this and you're enjoying me trying new things for the first time in 10 years, leave a like on this video, leave a comment, please give me some feedback. I look forward to creating new things more often, new exciting things, different things, things of all kinds of nature. And um, that's it. I love you guys. I will see you in the next video. Huh? Bye.